OTAN, Outreach and Technical Assistance Network. Hello everyone, I'm Melinda Holt. I'm a project specialist for OTAN, the Outreach and Technical Assistance Network. I will be your host for this OTAN Tech Talk. The title for this OTT is Edit, Save and Play, How to Create Interactive Videos. Your presenter today is Susie Sumergian from Glendale Community College. Susie, take it away. Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about how to create interactive videos um, and how to uh, exactly edit the video, save it and play it for your students. Um, uh, just uh, a fun fact, uh, this tool is one of my favorites uh, because of um, how um, easy it is to use. Uh, it's not a big technology thing for our, our students to learn how to do. So um, just a little bit about myself. My name is Susanna Samurjian, and I am a ESL instructor in the non-credit ESL division uh, at Glendale Community College. I'm also the technology coordinator. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about PlayPosit. And just a really fun fact, I used PlayPosit during my interview for this technology position. So I really enjoy using it uh, in my uh, class. And I think uh, it'll be um, a great tool that you can incorporate in your classrooms as well. Uh, what I'm first going to do is I'm going to give you an overview of what PlayPosit is like, and then I'll give you an example so that you can experience it from a student's point of view. Then I'll go ahead and show you how to create questions and how to create a PlayPosit video. And then uh, finally, I will show you a little bit about uh, Canvas and how you can incorporate this on, um, on Canvas. So just a little bit uh, overview of PlayPosit. Um, PlayPosit is a tool where you can make interactive videos, as I said. Um, and it's a free resource that you can use with, uh, uh, through the CCC Tech Connect PlayPosit license. So if you work for a, a community college, this uh, resource is free for you. If you don't, you can still use PlayPosit. They have a free account. You, can't, you just can't connect it to Canvas. Um, so um, if you want to get started with PlayPosit, the first thing you need to do is you need to create, a, create, a, uh, create an account on PlayPosit. After you do that, you can start creating what they call bulbs. So their videos are actually called bulbs. And I'll show you guys that when we go to the portion where uh, we go over how to create a video, how to edit and create the video. And um, like I said, you can use a uh, play pause it in person. So if you just simply want to show it to your uh, students in class, you can do that. The students are can simply just watch it um, and answer questions that you have. Um, you can use it on zoom. Similarly, you can show the video on zoom and have your students answer the questions that you have. Uh, or you can um, uh, embedded in Canvas so that you, your students do it as a, like an assignment. Um, so obviously doing it in person or on Zoom uh, requires less technology from the student's point of view. But if you're incorporating it on Canvas, you'll have to explain to students how to um, do certain, how to complete the assignment basically. So I'm, uh, so that's just an overview of what PlayPosit is like. So the, the second thing that I want to do is I want to show you an example of what it looks like from the student's point of view. So um, we're just going to watch uh, an example of a play posit video based on a video that I just uh, cre created my, myself. I got a video and I edited it. So I'm going to go over here. And I have a few videos. This is one folder that I have. I'm first going to show you this video. And on PlayPosit, what you can do is before you assign it to your students, you can go to this kebab uh, three, uh, and you can click over here and you can click on preview so that you can see exactly what your students are going to experience before you um, assign it to them. So I'm going to go to preview. And this is the video. I'm going to start playing, playing the video. I've been trying to understand the male experience better by acting like a man. Like 
As you can see, a question popped up over here. What are some stereotypical things that men do? And I just, you can incorporate a picture and you can also um, have an audio recording. What are some stereotypical things that men do? And then the student can answer over here. The student can add emojis. The student can record themselves and all these different options that they can do for the purposes of showing you guys this. I'm just gonna not really write an answer, but I'm just gonna write that and then click on submit so that we can continue watching the video. Like uh, I've been getting paid more for no reason. I have like three friends named Kyle. <laughs> I'm talking a lot about Bitcoin, even though I don't know anything about Bitcoin. Wow, Desi, it sounds like you're really- I've been interrupting people more. <laughs> Didn't really get that. And then the next question pops up. As you can see, as I was showing the video, there are these dots right over here. Uh, and for every dot, there is a question. The first question that I showed you was an open-ended question. So it's like a short answer that a student can write. The second question that I put well, is, uh, you know, A, B, a multiple choice question. And again, uh, you can uh, put an audio, uh, you can incorporate audio for your question. You can highlight words, make them bold, italicize them. So I'm gonna play it for you so you guys can see it again. What does dad refer to when she says, I've been getting really good at that? Okay, so the student can choose whatever answer they wanna choose and click on submit and then continue. Well, great, well, well maybe- It's easy once you get the hang of it. <laughs> So if All you have to do is wait until someone starts talking, and then you start talking. Desi, I know what interrupting is. It's when you speak on top of somebody else. Okay, and then because my students are learning English, I put you know a vocabulary exercise for them as well. So match the following uh, words to the correct definitions in the table below. To talk when someone else is talking, would that be to get the hang of it or would that be interrupt? It's a fill in the bank, fill in the blank uh, question. So the student needs to actually write something to learn the skills of something after trying something to get the hang of it. And then the student clicks on submit and then they can go, go uh, continue. I just wanted to point out one thing that if a student doesn't really know, they can also click on this rem rewind button so that they can uh, go back and uh, listen to it again in, in case they didn't understand it, which is very helpful for a language student. Else. Uh, actually, Trevor, it's when you interject before someone's completed their thought. Yeah, they stop mansplaining to me! <laughs> okay, what are some examples of mansplaining? And I just put... What are... Oh, oops. Let me go back over here. What are some examples of mansplaining? Okay, all right, calm down, don't act crazy. <laughs> okay, and then why does she say don't act crazy? Why is that funny? And then the student can post, can write the answer. Um, I forgot to mention that in the previous question, there was no place for the student to write a response. And that is one of the options of um, the question options of play pause too. You have what's called a reflective pause. So you can pause the video, ask a question uh, to the students and have them think about it before they continue watching the video. So again, I'm just gonna write something here and continue the video. you should smile more <laughs> give it a try 
Okay. Give it a try. Let's see those dimples. All right. So that is uh, one of the examples that I wanted to show you. Uh, play pause it. So it's an interactive video in that you can add uh, question, uh, que different question types. So um, uh, I, I just went over the overview and I showed you guys showed you an example of what play posit is like. Now I want to show you the question types. I already talked about a few of the question types. So I'm going to go to play posit and start showing you what other options that you have. So I'm first going to go over here. And when you are on play posit after you've created an account, um, to, to create that interactive video, you need to click on Add New Bulb. Okay, once you do that, this screen is going to pop up, and now you need to choose a video. So you can either upload your own video, uh, you can, uh, uh, or you can record your own video, but you can also search for videos on YouTube. I'm just gonna go ahead and give you the example for YouTube. If I go to YouTube and I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna write friends, um, Joey on friends, and then I find um, a video that I want. I click on that video and then I click on done. And now I have this, um, this video that I can, you know, edit. Okay, so when you're editing and you're adding questions, those questions are called an interaction. So all those question types that I was saying, multiple choice, um, free response to reflective pause, those are all called interactions. So what you can do is so you can watch the video so you can start playing and as soon as you want to add a, add a, a question that's where you click on add an interaction so I'll give you an example Damn Rolos <laughs> Hey you're back hey how was your conference yeah, I was terrible I fought with my colleagues you know, the entire time Are you kidding with this <laughs> Let's just say I want to add a question there. So now you have these question types. You have multiple choice. You have a free response. You have a poll, a check all, fill in the blank, a discussion question. You also have that reflective pause. You can incorporate a link. And then you also have what's called templates. So if you've been using the same type of questions for your different videos that you've been making, you can have templates and just instead of recreating those questions all the time, you can get the uh, from your template and use those questions. You also have question a question bank similar to all the you know the, uh, like other tools that you're using and you have a bank you can go to that that as well. Um, I'm just going to show you um, the example of the multiple choice first, because all of them are pretty similar in the different things that you can do. So let's just say you have a multiple choice question. You can enter your question over here. And like I said, you can make it bold, italicize it, number bullets, so on and so forth. You can add a picture if you want. I added the audio for my students. Um, so these are some, some of the different options that you, that you have, okay, on all that, those editing tools. And then over here, you have um, the, the question option that you can write over here. And then you have the setting option. And then you can, um, mark correct, you can add feedback. So you can write, oh, great job, or sorry, see page 135, for example. So you can write that feedback over here. And then once you're finished, you can click on done. It won't let me do uh, click on done because of the fact that I didn't actually enter a question. So um, I'm just gonna go back and refresh this page so that I can show you the other question types. So, um, so I'm just gonna go over here Let's just say I want to add another interaction. And over here, I want to add a pause. 
Okay, so you can add the pause and for the pause, you can enter any text you want. If you don't wanna add any text and you want your students to actually click and listen to your question, if, for example, you're doing the listening activity with your students, you can uh, record it, that as well. Okay, then you click on customize and then you can continue. Uh, one other thing that besides the, the question types that I wanted to show you was how you can edit the video, the entire video. So um, this video seems like it might be too long for me. You know, I, I have the questions, I wanna add the questions, but the video is three minutes and 22 seconds long. So if I want, I can also um, uh, um, edit the, um, the length of the video. Okay, so let's just say I, um, I, I, I have my questions over here and I'm adding uh, the ones that I want, uh, then I can you know, um, uh, customize how long I want the video. So um, I believe that's uh, after when you review it. Let me just click on preview so I can show you. So this is the entire video. Damn Rolos. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna go back over here and um, they changed the way that you edit the, the length of the video. So I'm just gonna click on this again and edit it so that I can make sure that I show you how to, um, here you go, okay. Video, um, so over here you can see, sorry, let me do that again. Show you, I went a little too fast. Okay, so over here is your video source, is the actual video, and then the captioning. So you can uh, view the available YouTube captioning, or you can add your own captioning. And then this is where you can trim and crop the video. So if you don't want the entire video, you can just drag this over here. And now your video is only a minute and 30. Uh, six seconds long. So you have the option of editing how long your video is as well. So um, that was how to add the questions and how to um, um, trim the video. Okay, and then once you are finished, you can review it and then you can save it. And once you save it, that's where you'll have all your videos over here. For example, the Daily Show, that one was a, one that was ready for me. And I can click over here and it can, I can assign it to the students. I can give them a link. Um, if I simply just want to show it to the students in person or on Zoom, I would do it exactly how I was showing you. I would show the video, pause, and then have a student uh, tell the answer to a partner or um, ask one student the question, however you, you would like to do it. So you can do it that way if you just simply want to use the video in your class. Now, if you wanna assign it, you can definitely assign it through PlayPosit, but I'm gonna go to the uh, fourth, um, fourth uh, item on my agenda, and that's to show you how to do it on Canvas. So on Canvas, if you want to create an assignment, through CCC Tech Connect, you have the option to do that uh, for free. So you would similarly, however you're creating your assignment on Canvas, you would give your um, assignment a name, give a description, assign the points, the groups, so on and so forth. And then under the submission type, you're going to select external tool. And once you do that, you're going to click on find and uh, look for play posit. You're going to scroll down to play posit. If this is the first time that you've been using play posit, you have to link your uh, play posit account. Mine is already linked, but um, I'm going to enter play posit. So if I've already created on playposit.com, uh, then I can simply find it over here. I recommend that you create it on PlayPosit and then find it over here. So I click on enter PlayPosit. Then I find the video that I want. Okay, so that's the video that I want. 
And then I, I select that one. Okay, so I selected that video that I want to uh, assign. Um, and let me just quickly go over. It's sorry, Play Posit has changed a lot of things on their website. So uh, some things have changed over here. I'm trying to yeah, set the link and then I click on the daily show and that should be fine that I've selected that video. And then once I select that, sorry, once I select that uh, video that I have, um, then I can go down all the way over here and save and publish it or save it so that I can use it um, in my class. So that in a nutshell is play pause it. I went over an example, showed you some of the question types and how to embed it in Canvas. Uh, and uh, I hope you enjoy um, using play pause it in your class, whether it's in person, on Zoom, or if you're assigning it um, uh, for homework. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Susie, for that great presentation. I'd like to encourage viewers at this time to subscribe to OTAN's YouTube channel where instructional tech videos like this one related to adult education can be found, including these OTAN Tech Talks. All of this information and more is available on the OTAN website at www.otan.us. Thank you for watching this OTAN Tech Talk.